Hello friends, I hope you are enjoying this summer of simplicity journey and I'm so glad you decided to join us on this journey. So today I wanted to talk about setting our priorities. So if you haven't done it already, and or it's a really, um, really do the simplicity journey and do it well, we have to identify our priorities. Um, identifying our priorities will help us to um, know what's important and help us know what we do need to cut in order for us truly to simplify. Now, um, before you identify your priorities, I want to encourage you to spend some time seeking God so that God can show you what those priorities are for your life. It's going to be different for each individual person. So don't um, base your priorities off of somebody else's priorities. For me, um, there were three things that I wanted to make sure that I focused on when I was looking at my priorities. And the first one is priorities for myself individually. The second one is priorities for my family. And the third one is priorities based off of my calling. And so first, individually, I wanted to make sure that I was prioritizing my health. And the reason I want to prioritize my health is because one, I only have one body. And if I my body isn't healthy and whole and I don't have the energy or stamina, I'm not going to be any good for my family and I'm not going to be any good for my calling. So I wanted to make sure that I was doing things that prioritize my health. And for me, one of those things is making sure that I am up first thing in the morning, working out five days a week. And um, so I schedule that in first thing and I make sure that I make that a priority. And if someone wants to do something during that time, it's a no, because I want to prioritize that time for myself and also prioritizing eating well balanced meals. And then another thing was looking at priorities for my family and priorities for my family is, if, and friends is that I want to spend quality uninterrupted time with my families and friends and knowing when that time is. And for me, some of that time is getting them to and from where they need to go, whether it be school or right now, my son is prioritizing boxing for his mental health. So making sure he gets to boxing and I'm supporting him on that, but also making sure that we're sitting down for meals together, that we have actually are scheduling time to go and do things that we enjoy like going to the movies or going to the park going for walks so i prioritize that and that's with my family or with my friends so making sure that i have time where i am spending time with my friends and we put our phones away and this it's not me texting or them texting is we are actually interacting with one another so that we can build that relationship because we need one another and then third for me is prioritizing my call. And I am blessed that my job is my call because we also want to make sure that we we need to make a priority of making sure that we feed our family and provide for our families. So um, your your employment should be a priority. Now, if you're like, I, I'm not feeling it, there is a disconnect. Maybe you need to reassess what your um, employment is. Um, and it doesn't have to be ministry to be a calling. You could be a business owner. God called you to start a business that's helping several people. Maybe God called you to a particular area. Maybe it's being a nurse. That is That right there is a calling. Um, being a teacher is a calling. Anything that you do could be a calling, but prioritizing that and doing it well. So based off of these priorities, I'm now able to decide what things need to go out of my life. I'm now able to set good, healthy, clear boundaries. And so um, in my life, I had so much going on that I felt like I wasn't, I was putting things that actually were supposed to be a priority on the back burner. I wasn't able to work out. Um, I was eating on the go because I had so much other stuff that didn't necessarily line up with my priorities. Just weighing me down. Um, I saw that I was putting my kids and relationship with my friends on the back burner. I didn't have time to really invest in those relationships. And even as far as my calling, I felt like I couldn't effectively do the work that I was called to do because I was so cluttered. My mind was so cluttered. My schedule was so cluttered with all these other activities. So I had to reassess now that I have my boundaries in place. What is it in my schedule that I need to get rid of? And so, for instance, I sat on three boards and these were three amazing organizations that I'm very passionate about. However, did they line up with my goals? And I had to go through and I had to assess it. And if it didn't align up with my priorities, then I had to step down 
that was something that I had to do for myself. There are also several different organizations that I served on and that I supported and I had major roles in and I had to look at them. And if they were not in align with my priorities for the season, I had to have the hard conversations of letting them say, hey, um, I overcommitted or this is not the season that I can do this. And um, I'm great. I'm Praise God that these organization leaders were so uh, understanding and compassionate about the boundaries that I set. But knowing your priorities helps you to understand when good opportunities come your way or it, uh, opportunities come your way, you can now decide whether you need to say yes or no. If you don't have priorities set, you're saying yes to every great thing that comes along. And that's very, very unhealthy. It's going to wear you out. It's going to wear you out. And we don't want you wore out. We want you to live life and live life to the full. And that's what God wants for you. So, and I want you to be the best you you can be. I want you to be the best mother or husband or spouse um, that you can be. And I need you to be the best at what God called you to do um, because the community and the kingdom needs it. Now, um, if you have a hard time with the boundaries, if you have a hard time saying no to all these good opportunities that come your way, if you have a hard time with prioritizing, I want to encourage you to take our boundaries class that will be starting in the fall. Um, if you are at the Tip City campus, it will be starting September 6th. If you are at the Fort McKinley campus, it will be starting September 5th. And I believe this class is life-changing. If you haven't taken boundaries or you struggle to set and to, maintain, and to uphold good, healthy boundaries, I need you to take this class. <laughs> I need you to take this class. And if you know someone who can benefit from that, please invite them, um, whether they are a part of this movement or not, please invite them. I believe that it will change their life and make them so much more healthy and whole. Now, I want to also encourage you to be on the lookout. On Mondays, we will start sending out a bit of a newsletter that will have reflections for the week, also some other resources that you can utilize during your journey to simplicity. Again, remember, if there's something in there that's beneficial, use it. If it's not pertaining to your situation, ignore it. Ignore it. This is your journey. Like I said, everybody's journey is different. I love you, and I hope God is really moving in this time of simplicity. Be, for, uh, be sure to share with us how your journey is going. We want to know. All right. Take care.